This is a short adventure of uh, mine when I went to Italy. I think it was Cortina, Cortina, Italy, and it was really a uh, interesting place. I, the mountains and really nice. I really liked it there, and I went skiing with. I met a couple guys. One was from Canada. I don't remember where the other guy was from, but I skied there a couple, maybe a day or two, and it, uh, the mountains were just amazing, and I often thought, you know, this, I'd like to be go back there again sometime, although I know I never will, but I just remember it, and uh, these are some pictures of up in the mountains, and... Uh, I wasn't a very good skier, I know at the time, and I had to carry my camera with me, which was not fun. I had rented skis, and I kind of remember that uh, it was high. Uh, gondolas were interesting and exciting to use. Uh, Snow conditions weren't that great the time I was there, but uh, still, it was a short memory of uh, skiing in Italy. I remember the guy that I was with, he, uh, he was from Canada, and he recently had been to, to Morocco, and as we... Uh, crossed the border, I think we had to have really, really good tires on the car. He had his car and he had to get different tires and then I also think that he had to, uh, oh, he was go through the luggage and check for drugs intensively, um, marijuana and hashish or whatever it was. Obviously, he never had anything, but still at the border, it was a, quite an intensive check. Um, I didn't particularly um, enjoy it because it took quite a long time. And I don't remember where else we went. I think it was between... Austria and Italy, and these are just some other pictures of uh, some of the time spent there. I don't even remember what year it was, but we we're higher in the, the elevation was higher, so you can see a, quite a contrast between uh, snow and no snow, and that was just the way it was. Austria, Switzerland, Italy, France, all of the those countries have many, many, many ski slopes. And um, I don't know what has happened in there those areas in the recent years but skiing in those countries is uh, probably it's an expensive winter sport um, I have very little little knowledge of this trip but The rocks formations, I, I would guess that they compare somewhat out uh, to what we have out west in uh, Montana. Um, the 
like I said, I have very little memory of this. And I think these these photos are probably 50, uh, 50 years old. And they've been preserved fairly well uh, because of, uh, uh, the, what was it, maybe Kodak? Codex slide film that I was taking, and nowadays if you take pictures, you could take hundreds of them. Those days it was a roll of 36 or a roll of 24, and uh, each of them, each roll would cost uh, eight or ten dollars to get them developed and. made into slides and then the slides we used carousels slide projectors I don't think this is a area where I went to uh, Venice in Italy but The mountains were really, really neat, and uh, I I know at the time that I was there, the weather weather was really, really nice, as you can see by this picture. Some of the pictures, uh, it was rather foggy, and I think I probably stayed at hostels, youth hostels, and those are relatively inexpensive. And I know in many, many places that I went, I, you know, meet people and really nice people. And, you know, you sometimes get along well with them and exchange addresses but very, very few. In fact, only I think of people that I'd met in various parts of the world, there was probably only one that came and visited me here in, in our home. I think climate change probably has affected some of these places. I read about it on the internet at times. Don't know how true all of those things are, but uh, these these photos maybe I should have only had time for. Uh, oh, what is it? Five five seconds rather than whatever it is eight or ten and again as I've told you on uh, many of these other uh, photos that I have the quality just is not there for the most part on the pictures Winter tourism has been <clears throat> a big, big uh, business for most of those countries. Like I said, Austria, Italy, France, and Germany.
These pictures will uh, probably be the first time that I've seen them for 50 years. Okay, I'm continuing with my uh, uh, narration on this video. And there is so many videos put up every day on YouTube. I'm just uh, uh, amazed. And uh, here, here you can see this car, the one guy I was traveling around with. And uh, we had a checkpoint at one time, like I said, at a police station. Not a police station, but I think it was a border. And things were a little bit different in those days. Here's a contrast between the lower part of the mountains where there wasn't snow and then you move into the upper and there was snow and there was also fog which was um, just part of that part of the weather at that time. Uh, okay. I'm going to continue putting out pictures of uh, many of them are, like I said, 50 years old, 50 years ago, 60, oh, almost 60 years old. And like I said, I don't know where all these places were, but I'm still putting them up there because they were part of a collection. And there may be people out there that recognize this area or these, these photos. And uh, I'm going to continue uh, trying to get subscribers the anticipation or possibility of me making any money is oh, maybe close to non-existent. Most of my viewers, I don't know if they know what I have to do to make money, but it have one part of it is to make sure I have 4,000 hours of people watching my videos. I've been doing this for six months and I got a hundred. That's it for now.